I was going back to school it was such a stressful time for me but honestly one of my favorite parts about going back to school is being able to customize my own clothes and DIY things because DIYs are so relaxing for me I'm so thankful that wish is able to partner with me on this video they're a great destination to find unique and affordable items you could download their app and shop on there and save a lot of time this summer if you're going back to school soon I know a lot of you might be on a budget trying to save money for school and tech books and tuition so hopefully this video will inspire you to be creative and think outside of the box in this video I'll be sharing with you 12 back-to-school DIYs and school supplies this sweater is a little bit on the older side it has a lot of a pilling going on so we're going to spice it up by throwing on top some of these pom-poms Taking your glue gun, be careful kids. So we're just going to add a little dot of glue and then add the pom-pom right on top. You can definitely customize this DIY by adding any color pom-poms. I went with this pastel color scheme, but you can obviously choose any colors that you like. And this is a great way to update an old sweater or top like this. DIY, I'm going to show you how to jazz up a clear bag like this. I think this is perfect to hold all of your school supplies, essentials, and I'm going to be using some colorful patches. These ones are number and letter ones. They're so beautiful. It comes in all of these bright, vibrant colors. Well, I know some of you might not have an iron at home, so a cool little hack is to use your hot glue gun and just glue these onto any surface. Ooh, I've got the glue string. <laughs> Next, I'm going to show you how to decorate this old glass cup and make it into an adorable rainbow pencil holder. So I'm going to take my colorful washi tape from Wish. Love that it's super thin so I can just easily wrap it around. Start with the pink at the top. I think this looks the best. how to make this really fun and whimsical pom-pom scrunchie. Laying down your chiffon fabric, I just picked this up from my local craft store. Taking about four and a half inches right here, I'm going to mark it with my pen. Make a straight cut right down the middle. Fold your fabric in half and then we're going to sew this shut. And then taking your elastic or rubber band, this is like any old rubber band from the grocery store, I'm just going to place it right in between the fabric right here. And then we're going to bring the two pieces together like this. you're sewing your scrunchie not to sew it shut because now we're going to put in our little pom-poms and I'm just going to stuff my scrunchie. It might get stuck in certain sections but don't worry just take your time and these pom-poms will go right on through. Here is the finished scrunchie. It looks so adorable. Totally getting retro candy vibes from it. Wear it on your wrist or you could wear it in your hair. Totally up to you. We're 
going to make a DIY emergency kit. I use this really awesome vintage label maker. Inside here, I have a bunch of goodies that I know will help me survive any sort of situation, especially for that time of the month. You know, ladies, we all need a little DIY emergency kit. Turn and spin this wheel to achieve different letters and create labels for pretty much anything that you want. I really love the way that these stickers come out. So I purchased two different colors. I have the black as well as the yellow. Just slide it through simply like this and click a couple of times until the tape has threaded through. And then here there's a little section where you can hook the tape. Obviously spin this back so you don't have excess tape hanging around. So I'm going to add my name to this label. So I'm just going to press down. So here are some of the labels I ended up making. So this one says period, this one says my name. In this canvas bag, I'm going to add on top my stickers. So here are some things that you can put in your DIY emergency kit. I have some period products like pads and tampons, a hair coil, some lip balm, safety pins, hand sanitizer. I've seen a lot of trendy vintage clips online lately and I've been really inspired by them so I thought why not create some of my own. So I made this little daisy one in the straight pearl inspired clip. For materials you'll need a hot glue gun, clips like this, and some colorful pom poms or you can also use ribbon as well. First I'm going to add a dot of glue to the side of this little pom pom, grabbing this little pink one. So here is the finished daisy. Next, I'm going to add some hot glue to the clip and then place the flower right on top. And on these sides here, I'm going to cover up some of the silver with more of the pink pom-pom. So I matched it with this super cute Japanese t-shirt. I'm going to make an alternative, which is just a straight little pearl looking clip. So here are the finished clips. I really love the way they turned out. Definitely gives a nice pop of pink to my hair. I'm going to show you another way you can style your graphic t-shirts. So sometimes you can find graphic tees will be quite plain in the front and then there's something more going on in the back. So I challenge you to wear your shirts backwards. So cute. I love this shirt from Wish. It was also super affordable and it comes in two different colors. There's a couple ways you can style this shirt. You can do a front tuck and then let the fabric kind of hang loose. You can also tuck it all the way in. Get all that fabric into those jeans. By tucking your shirt, you highlight your waist area so much more and it makes you look a lot more slimmer. I've seen this online. Bring your shirt through the loophole and then the other side and tie it into a knot just at the bottom there. show you how to customize a denim jacket. Tying it to the back panel of this denim jacket. So I'm going to cover the lettering over here. And then yeah, this DIY is so simple. It doesn't require any sewing if you don't want. So I have this old romper and I think I'll probably wear it more as shorts than as a romper. So I'm just going to cut off the top section and apply it onto our denim jacket. Now we have a little top section that we can use as extra fabric. I'm just going to glue this fabric right onto the denim jacket. I'm out of hot glue. <laughs> Here 
is the finished denim jacket. I really like the way it turned out. So this is a really great layered look for school. So I'm just wearing a black top underneath and then my Wish hoodie that has the mesh on it. I like that it's long sleeve, super cozy and comfy. And then over top, I layered on the denim jacket that I just DIY'd using the upcycled romper. I'm really glad I'm able to still get good use out of that romper that I'm no longer wearing. To the next DIY, I'm going to show you how to make your own monthly planner using just a whiteboard and some washi tape. First step is to take your ruler and to mark out the different columns and rows. So I marked out all of the different columns and rows and then now I'm going to move on and use the beautiful washi tape. I'm going to add the days of the week right over the top so I took embroidered letters that I used in an earlier DIY to just create like little fun magnets you can obviously put magnets on the back or in my case I'm just gonna use some tape Okay class, now the monthly planner is all done. I really like all of the different colored washi tape. I think it makes this calendar so much more fun, visually pleasing, and it makes me actually excited to write down all of my plans and things I have to do and accomplish in a month. Next up, I'm going to show you how to decorate a backpack. So I picked up this beautiful pink one from Wish. I use one of the scraps of the contact paper to cover up this section in the middle to spell out girl power on my backpack. Why not decorate your backpack with some positive and empowering statements? So I ended up putting girl power on the top of my backpack and then I got these fun patches here that I glued to the bottom. So yeah, this DIY was so easy and I think it's so much fun to customize your backpack for school. I know a lot of you have been really interested in bullet journaling, so I picked up this notebook from Wish and I thought it'd be really fun to customize it with some washi tape. We're going to create a chevron pattern on the front of this notebook. So first I'm going to create a couple outlines to help make the chevron shape just a little bit easier. I remember when I was in school, it was so hard to stay focused because I was so into my YouTube channel and wanting to film more videos, but then I had classes during the day. So after I got home, I got super excited. And usually during class, I would have a notebook and then write down all of my creative ideas during class. Think of all the creative things I could potentially film. So we are about halfway through the notebook decor and I really just honestly wanted to do this DIY video because I was feeling so stressed out from the room renovation, cleaning, and getting everything organized that I just wanted some me time to just sit down, create some art, hang out, chit chat with you guys. Yay, my bullet journal is all complete. I love that it's such a small pocket sized notebook. You could throw into your purse or your backpack and take it wherever you are on the go. Growing up, I really loved colorful dividers and prints, but I feel like now that I'm more matured, I'm more into a minimal look. So I thought, why not update these dividers by using contact paper? So this one is a really beautiful one that I found from Wish. It has this nice glossy look to it. This DIY was so simple, even Bella can do it. So what's great about this contact paper is on the back there's a grid so you can easily and simply mark out the section where you want to cut. A little bit of a curve which we will kind of eyeball there. Whoops. <laughs> Epic fail. Try that again. The real blooper, right? No. <laughs> Put it in this way. Last but not least, I'm going to add the subject onto the side of the divider. So here is 
Legacy Finished Marble Divider. I really like the way it transformed the colorful look into this minimalist product. So you can put in your homework, your important task sheets, anything that you like. So comment down below and let me know which DIY idea was your favorite or clothing hack. Be sure to download the Wish app or wish.com to create a wish list and share with me in the comments down below what's in your cart. Hopefully through this video you learned some creative DIYs on how you can upcycle old items and make them look new again and personalizing some of your school supplies. So I love you guys and I will see you in the next video. Bye!